This is Twit. According to iMore, there's some real problems with the M2 MacBook uh, Pro. No, that's all, that's all garbage. It's and garbage. I'm so upset about that whole... Every time a Mac product comes out, there's this, these, these cooked up cockamamie catastrophized conspiracy theories now. And it's getting to the point where I don't even want to cover this stuff anymore. It's like, I, this is uh, Max Tech, which is like, I like the Max Tech channel. They're great, but they got a lot of views off running a bunch of benchmarks. And then, they, and they even admitted it on Twitter two days ago that they plan out how the Mac fails videos before oh, they're geez. even released because they get a lot of views. It's good for views. Uh, this is why you, yeah. and you're the, you're a, you're a good YouTuber. But you're the, uh, ex I guess the, uh, the what did they call that? Exception. The exception that proves the rule. Yeah. So yeah. there's a huge Twitter fight today about this where one of the Apple YouTubers is saying, I cannot reproduce your results. And they're saying, well, we ran the Rosetta version of this benchmark oh. at the same time as that benchmark. And they're like, but then you're deliberately setting up. So Leo, the other thing is like, I could make any MacBook fail. I know exactly how to hurt them. I know exactly which tests they do well and they do badly. <laughs> and, the and the ways that I can hurt them are not a ways that almost any, like maybe 0.1% of customers will ever accidentally come across. It's just that when you get like, the, the, the whole crux of this one is if you light up every CPU, you're fine. But if you light up every CPU and every GPU for a long period of time, it's going to ramp down. And that's exactly expected behavior. It, Apple said last year with the M1 that with the MacBook Pro, because it has an active cooling system, it can sustain longer than the air, which is fanless, but it's not forever. You have to get to go to the Mac mini if you wanted something big and bulky enough with a big enough fan to sustain indefinitely. And that's certainly not the, the MacBook Pro. So this, if you light the CPUs, you're fine. Like it'll just pers persist with the CPUs. If you then light up every one of those new GPU cores, it'll go for as long as it can and then it'll ramp down temperature. Which is the same thing that they were saying with the i9 uh, 16 inch MacBook uh, Pro, right? Yeah. I mean, it, and remember yes. they had to put it in the fridge and all, or the freezer. But so, there's, his temperatures are so high that there is nothing. And I've asked a bunch of people, and nobody can even, Celsius yeah, nobody can even ridiculous. imagine that they, the, 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 the it, it just doesn't pull that much power. Like the whole computer doesn't pull that much yeah. power. So, well, and, that's and, the it, and with by the data sets of one, they took this picture very quickly because he even says it immediately throttled down and cooled off. Uh, so this was a. He also says that the heat affects the SSDs. Is that more of the same? That I mean, heat affects everything. Like heat affects um, almost any component. Like heat affects the batteries as well. But like the thing is, like this is why I'm so upset that Future has defunded Anantec because Anantec did this right. And when you benchmark right, like the, the, you have a bunch of units, you do a bunch of tests. It's at a controlled temperature. It's at like it, you have all the wireless stuff off because wireless can make a huge impact on tests just because radios they go up and down. Uh, like there's a whole bunch of stuff you have to do to, to make normalized benchmark. You know, Linus wants to do this with his lab. Bless his heart. Maybe he can do it but it, it's just we everyone need, we runs need a these of, reliable yeah. high integrity sources to do this who do it right because idg shut down their lab pc mac shut down like every I every know. other lab has been I shut know. down as far as patrick I patrick norton it's, was the guy he was yeah. the tester at uh, yeah. cd labs and he's always told me leo <laughs> <laughs> benchmarks are hard <laughs> Uh, yeah. They are. They are so hard, and people don't, especially now, because an SOC isn't like the like like it's just much an Intel chip. It's got yeah. yeah, E cores, P cores, G cores, a, like neural engine cores. It's it's really complicated. He uh, also Mac Tech Max Tech also says this is not a problem they saw with the last last generation MacBook uh, Pro. So and it's like and we because he did he got one test unit and he did one very fast yeah, video and that's yeah. again that's one okay. of the problems it's, it's not a big enough data set yeah yeah the, okay fine good thank you I knew yeah I knew we well, could count the, on the, you the problem for me is that like all these people watch that video and then come into my comments and they are so toxic and so <laughs> angry and so rage baited and I answer as many as I can because I genuinely fe genuinely feel bad because it's bad for like rage baiting people is bad for them it's bad for customers it's bad for everything but there's just like there's so many of them now I just yeah. can't keep up well, cons uh, I guess uh, the advice we would give to our audience is uh, uh, you got to consider the source. Don't believe everything you read. Um, and, and, uh, and we need a new Anantech, I guess. Are you saying that because because future is not giving them money that a non tech themselves yeah. are not as reliable or not as they don't. Well, no, do they it. just lost everybody. Just everybody left. It. Yeah, everybody. Ryan's left. the only one left, and he has a part time writer. Uh, they've gone to Intel or Apple, and some of them have gone independent. Uh, and it's just like the best advice I can give is the advice we always give, and that is if, if you buy a new Mac, put it through everything you're going to do. Put it through the hardest things you're going to do, and if you have any problems, take it back. But like like do your workload because your workload is not a bunch of download, run and done apps that people get off well, the internet. And is, look at is, but is there any moral that uh, 
uh, our audience can take? Should they should they perhaps wait for a better cooled M2? I, I mean, this is such a weird product, Leo. Like this product is for such a like this product is basically for people who are going to buy the M1 MacBook Pro and now they can get it with an M2. Yeah, because like, I don't the, want like a touch you're, you're bar. Better off I mean, this is this is the old MacBook Pro. Yeah, it's like for enterprise purchasers who buy like two thousand okay. of them and then just give them to their workers. Yeah. Okay. Everyone so, else should get like the M1 Pro or the or the MacBook Air. There's good M1 stuff, and there's not such an yeah. improvement in M2, especially in these old old uh, designs that you would really uh, want. I am with. super happy. Like like the weird thing is like for years people complained that Apple wasn't spec bumping things, and I want them to. I want them to spec bump whenever they can because if you decide like if this is the perfect Mac for you, you deserve it with the latest chip. There's no reason you should have an 18 month old chip when you buy it. You get the latest chip, so it's great. Yeah. Uh, it's just not it's not for a lot of people. Yeah. Well, thank you for clarifying. Right, I'll stop yelling today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a YouTuber. You got to yell. In fact, give us a real good YouTube expression. Uh, hey, what is up, guys? No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> oh, you know, for, for like, this, I don't know, Leo. I can't. I can't do the you know, like the performative cynical rage theater. I was giving you the expression. Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now you put that in the thumbnail. Your money, baby. <laughs> Your yeah. money. I noticed you stopped kind of doing that. <laughs> yeah. I, apl I applaud you, sir. I applaud you.